I went on a four-week motorbike tour across Java, Indonesia. In this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of a landmark used for religious gatherings or better known as the world's largest chicken, the Chicken Church, located here in central Java, Indonesia. I will also share my opinion of my experiences towards the end of this video. Hang out and enjoy. We're at Poon Tuk Sintambu. I think that's what it said. It's like a uh, local hangout spot, so like a mountain viewpoint. Typically, it's better to come here for sunrise. Not sure how long the walk is, but it looks like a pretty easy path to walk on. Followed by a flight or two of stairs. One of those crazy looking bamboo trees. Is that a bamboo tree or bamboo trees? It's always in a batch of them. And do they grow like that naturally or some guy 300 years ago, planted a whole bunch of seeds in one little spot. We made it to the top. It was like a quick little 10, 15 minute walk. This is a view. The sun's up there. There. That would be your sunrise. Over there, not sure if you'll see it. The temple over there. On paper, it's said to be the world's largest Buddha temple. We tried to go in there, but they're trying to scam us. Check that place out at a later time. Plenty of selfie uh, real estate space over here. Just take selfies all day. Speaking of world's largest, we got the world's largest chicken right there. So this place is only like one or two years old and they are doing consistent work on it. And so far, they have a lot of different little viewpoints. They're building something there right now. A little snack bar there. Prices are actually pretty good. So we're at the giant chicken church. We got offered a ride up the hill. It's like 200 meters. We could probably walk, but we're limited on time and I'm feeling lazy. It's like a dollar a person or like 15K. Not too bad. So this is the price breakdown. They also give you some food. Not a bad deal. We're at the giant chicken church. Big cock, big cock, big cock, big cock, big cock, big cock, big cock. Hi. <laughs> so we just finished up the tour. We're halfway up to the top level. It's a total of seven levels here. And I believe we're in like uh, the fourth or fifth floor, something like that. Here's the top view there. That's the back. It's stated to be an abandoned church. I'm not sure how to describe it now. But essentially, the first level, there's no recording or pictures or anything like that. And the bottom layer is used for praying for multiple different types of religions. So we're gonna head up to the top and it's supposed to be a like 360 degree viewpoint on top of the head of the... This is the view from inside of the beak. So if you're ever in a situation where you're eaten by the world's largest bird, this would be your last side of light. That's the last viewpoint we're just at. Rise Terrace over there. In this direction is where the big volcanoes are at. Unfortunately, we couldn't hike any of them because they're closed. One's super active and the other one is, uh, I'm not sure why, but can't hike any of them. That's the stairs going down. So all of this was constructed by hand. I'm not sure exactly what year. I believe it was 95 when it was constructed. Everything is concrete made. And those steel beams you see, that was added in after. Based on these pictures and what the tour guide told us, this was the original support. I believe those were concrete pillars. All this was done by hand and then later on, when this place was classified as a tourist destination based on a movie that was filmed here. They added a steel structure in 2017, I think, to make it safe, of course. We're 
pretty awesome. So this is the cafe area where you redeem your snack or souvenir. We're gonna head up to the eating area for the other side of the view, which is up here. My first impression of the chicken church was actually really good. Easy to find with well-structured roads, very friendly people, and a great tour guide. If you're in the central Java area, definitely check it out. Well worth the experience. Waiting for our Jeep to come pick us up. It's not really a Jeep, but closest thing you can get. If there's any unanswered questions you have, please ask me in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them as quick as I can. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you are subscribed. And the only reason why I say that is so you can see more videos that I'll post uh, along my four week motorbike tour across Java, Indonesia. And of course, I have lots more videos of my experiences throughout Bali in my last six months here. Thanks again and I'll catch you in the next one.